Good morning everybody, it's Monday and as you can see I am done with my boot. I'm being a little cautious when I'm walking because I don't want to build a bad limb or develop any bad habits. Right now I feel good, I feel light. I gotta build some muscle back on my calves and my legs but hopefully riding the bike is gonna help me with that. And uh, yeah, right now I'm gonna go drop off this car, get on a biki and uh, I'm gonna head back to the house and start working on the the popcorn ceiling, the walls. I have to finish the bathroom as, as soon as I can so that I can move on to the kitchen. At the end of the month, we gotta move out of the island colony. So I need to get the bathroom and kitchen done so we can move and then I can just work on the bedroom and the living room uh, once we're there, hopefully. I mean, it makes sense in my head. Worst case scenario, we'll extend our stay at the island colony so we can uh, finish it up. But I don't wanna do that because that's another 1,400 bucks on top of what we need to pay for our new place. 1,400 bucks pays for our trip to Mexico, so I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna try to hustle, hustle, hustle and get everything done by the end of this month. Right guys, the glass is fixed. So now this whole wall is just straight up glass. I also kind of finished the, uh, the living room, popcorn, ceiling. I'm gonna leave the kitchen and the bedroom like that. I'm just gonna uh, do the same thing as the bathroom. Just gonna cover it up like this. Hopefully it works out. morning guys it's only 10 in the morning on Friday and I'm already tired I dropped off the girls at school I went to our new place to keep working on the bathroom now I'm over here on a physical therapy and then after this I gotta go to Home Depot and buy some more stuff for the bathroom go back to the house clean up the shower so I can hopefully paint it either today or it's gonna have to be Monday because I have drill this weekend. I gotta pick up D at 215, go back to the house, keep working on the house, go pick up Lisa, drop both of them off to our friend's house so I can go back to her Lisa's school for a uh, parent conference and figure out what to do for dinner. And I gotta wake up at four in the morning tomorrow for drill. So just thinking about it makes me tired. Oh, and I almost forgot, I still gotta edit yesterday's wedding tonight because I won't be able to do it this weekend. Good morning guys, it's Sunday. Yesterday I had drill pretty much all day. Uh, at the end of the day, I was kind of tired, but I wanted to watch A Star Is Born uh, because of Dave Chappelle's in it. So I went to check it out. Uh, it was really good, I liked it. Uh, but I did notice that uh, recently, as I mentioned uh, a couple weeks ago, I've been cheating a lot. Yesterday I bought some popcorn and I got a pizza. Uh, the day before I ate a uh, Bakey King from uh, a Burger King with the bun. And then the day before that I ate a small bag of uh, Flamin' Hot Cheetos. I think the Diet Coke or the Coke Zero, the sweetness of it, is giving me uh, a lot of cravings and it's probably making it a little harder for me to uh, not eat any kind of sabotage type of food. I think it's just time to get back to basics again. Uh, I was uh, really strict for a long time this year and then after we moved into uh, this place here, I started kind of relaxing on my meals just because we had to buy a lot of them or we didn't have a, a full kitchen. But I'm tired of making those excuses. So I'm gonna go back to basics, bacon and eggs, uh, I'm gonna start eating breakfast again so that I don't get craving in the middle of the day. I'll make sure that they have a lot of fat and so it keeps me full for most of the day. And uh, yeah, I think it's, you know, uh, it's like everything, it requires practice. I've been so steady at it uh, for so long that a slip here and there is easily justified, but I don't wanna justify that anymore. This is it, this is the day that I go back into this really strict. Uh, so I got that prepping and then I also got an avocado in the refrigerator so that I can eat and then that'll give me a little bit more fat. I'm also gonna stop drinking Diet Cokes and Coke Zeros and all those sweet drinks because I think that's the biggest problem right now. I gotta go back to drill pretty soon. I'll be busy most of the day. And so hopefully I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. In case you're wondering, I did just wave myself and I'm up to 235. So my lowest since I broke my ankle was 212. So that means I'm up 23 pounds. And uh, most of it is really in the last couple of weeks. I know that 
out of the 23 pounds, most of it is going to be water. So once I get strict again and I stop cheating for a week or two, most of that is going to get dropped down. It's really obvious that uh, that it's the carbs doing it. All right, guys. So let me show you breakfast. I just cut some bacon, used the fat to cook some onion and some eggs. I also threw in the avocado with some uh, Himalayan pink salt. I got some Japanese mayonnaise and some sriracha sauce. Also, I have this uh, soda stream uh, machine that allows me to make my own sodas. Remember, it's not the soda that's the problem it's the sweetness i think that's uh, causing me to have uh cravings so yeah so this is gonna be breakfast and then as soon as i finish this i'm gonna get dressed and go back to work yeah <laughs> So I'm going to eh? How's it going guys? It's Monday and it's uh, dinner time. Let me show you what I'm going to eat. Hey guys, I'm getting ready to go home after a long day. And I get the last bike on the entire rack. Check this out. Good morning guys. It is Thursday morning. I didn't vlog at all yesterday, but I basically just finished refinishing the shower the color was light blue when we moved in and it looked kind of outdated plus uh it wasn't even it was some was uh, blue some was yellow it just didn't look right so i decided to refinish it white uh and then that way we can add some color with either the light fixtures the shelves or all those things gotta wait two days for the whole thing to finish drying before i can remove the tape and keep working on the bathroom so in the meantime i'm gonna start working on the kitchen I already started filling the popcorn ceiling, uh, so I just gotta go through, sand it, even it out. So hopefully it, it comes out smoother than it did in the bathroom. I don't like how it came out in the bathroom, uh, so I might redo that later on. But uh, the priority was the bathroom. So once I smooth out the ceiling, I'm gonna start painting, install the lights, and then start working on the on the cabinets that are there now. First, I'm gonna clean them up, and depending on how they look, I might reface them. And then I also want to build a food pantry next to where the stove was. And then on top of the stove, I want to put a microwave. So that, that way it becomes like a U-shaped kitchen. I wanted to put an island in the middle, but then if I put one that's too big, it's going to kind of, it's going to make everything real tight. Uh, so I just might put a real small one to something that we can get on and cut vegetables or something like that. So for now, I'm just going to go change, put on some old clothes so that I can keep working on it. And then I'll show you guys an update as soon as I get there. I also wanted to mention that uh, this morning I got, I was a little bit hungry. So before the wedding, I stopped by Time Supermarket and I got myself some, uh, some pork chops and some uh, ribs. I think it was like $5 because it was already in the heater. And uh, yeah, it's a good way to save money on keto. Hey guys, it's Friday night, time for dinner. Uh, I didn't do anything all day today and um, basically the same thing happened yesterday. Because uh, I got sick so I had to go pick her up. But it's actually a good thing because now my foot feels good. It's been uh, kind of uh, throbbing in the last couple of days. So I think this is exactly what I needed. And so now that Megu is done, we're going to go eat dinner and this is where we're going. Thank you for watching guys remember i'm on a mission to retire early and travel the world with my family so on top of my weekly vlogs i'm also going to put videos on how i plan to generate money on the road how i save money how i become a minimalist and anything that helps me reach that goal of early retirement uh, if that's something that interests you please subscribe to this channel click right here to see the latest upload click here to see videos that relate to this video right here don't forget to hit the little bell so you can get notifications for whenever i upload new videos and also if you like this video please hit the like button thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one bye